I had to be honest. Wandering around, twisting perverted had me. Missing my office at the Avocado Detective Agency. Still, there was Fredo, Save, our friend Tugay Bay, and I'd met an operative who helped me on my way. I am Detective Yorkie, and I am a game deck. Two, two, and three. Right now, there's no way forward from this. Fredo could use his real name and play in this game that matches his appearance. He went to the alley. Who may know what happened to the boy? We have not unlocked the clan yet. There are trolls. We have no information here. We could not get any further that way, so we move back. Back. Now it's time to check the panel again. We'd advanced some tools. We could add some XTC points. Please quick commands and astronomical amount of XTC points appear in my account. Uh, the bloody dagger with words engraved. Protect ourselves or defend ourselves. Glacier code analysis. I open the deck and start scanning. The external code imitates a weapon available in this world, but there's something else beneath it. Download hidden files. Suddenly fragments of the code started to delete themselves. Tried to read the data. I ignored the safety warnings and tried to read something. All I get is the signature of the cheetah's code Trepanator. The dagger starts vibrating blue sparks appear on the surface. The sparks are turning cl uh, clearer by the second and starting to form some kind of tentacles. Turn off the windows. Quickly turn off the windows and sever all communication with, between my avatar and the dagger. That does the trick, the virus does the rest, burning the weapon and a few pieces of sidewalk in, in contact with it. Take another look at the bloody stain, there's nothing there for me. And we've got everything we can there. We know Trepanator set something up, so worth another chat with him. Yeah. Tell him about the cheating the dagger. I found you cheating the dagger. Who did you sell it to? Not so fast, good looking, you're attractive. But does that mean you you get all the info? Didn't your mother teach you the magic words? Try complimenting him. The cheat is unparalleled. It shows that the code has a sharp mind with nimble fingers. You tell me more about it. Sure, I could also demonstrate my nimble fingers. He seemed lost in thought. Kill them all handles the trade, but I do remember this one. On clan members ordered it for their superiors. I hope you didn't get it. Uh, didn't get hit with it. It's a vile piece of software. The damn woman who came up with it must be a piece of work. Ask about the effects. It injures you and doesn't let you respawn. You're brought to the brink of death and held in the state, paralyzed and unable to log out. What was it for? It don't stick my nose in other people's business, kid. I do end my end of the deal, and that's it. And the damned woman? She's clan leader, at least here. She must be one hell of a sadist. The cheat was a special order, you see. All right, that's enough. You can always come back, though, right? Oh. Kill them all. 
just resting. AFK. We have nothing else there. A woman ordered it. Are we talking about our young lady down here? I knew you would come back. They always do. Nope. Nothing we can do there. Then let's have a word with our uh, ladies over here, me and Maya. What do you want now? And ask about the clan. Ask about them. Enough. Uh, was there anything else in investigation? No. This is going to be a tale about a magical unicorn cheering up Look for trolls. I'm looking for trolls that roam this level of the game. Put his head down and scratch his horn on the concrete. I was a troll once, but now I'm a unicorn, and the trolls left with a tick through the magic portal behind the generator. I know, that's where your colourful adventure begins. The entrance is between the three old guys and the entrance behind the magic generator. Magical creature. But my magical friend, maybe the adventure started right here with you. In every good story there's a magical creature at the beginning, waiting to reveal a tiny part of a mystery. Oh, I'll reveal something alright, here's a magical encoded card. Use it next to the magical generator and your journey will follow the glittery trail. To kind of spit covered king of spades. Quick scan, if I did find a code on it. With this card you can summon the king. Just call out, oh king, enough chatter, open the gate, let me, let, uh, open the gate through space and matter. Don't be a quitter, come wearing glitter. He spoke as if singing to power generators was the most ordinary thing. Well, it seems it was to him. About the alley. Found hook marks in the alley, there's no chance anyone left them but yourself. What were you doing there? The tick sent me. I mean, the king of the trolls. Unicorns always listen to trolls, especially ticks. He sounded strange. Being a unicorn didn't seem to serve him well. Someone sent you down the alley. You went there and took something small. I saw the trace. I was to find out about those glitches and look for the girl. The girl wasn't there, but there was a cat with the code on the glitches. The king was so concerned with the code that he disappeared. Maybe he'll be back. I'm not going to watch any more tricks of his. They only get you killed. Nothing there. Once more to the young ladies here. Mia and Maya. About it. I'm getting used to seeing you around here. Okay, back to questions about the clan. All the questions. No, leave. Hang on. I'm getting used to seeing you around here. Can't do anything about the cult leader deductions yet. Still nothing new to be revealed there. Maybe there won't be. Three, two, and three. Nope. Without any red, we're getting nowhere. Talk to me. Umbra ta nothing. The admin's got nothing for me right now. Painting on the wall, leave it. Anything else in the uh, deck here? No. Every end at this point seems pretty much dead. Enough. Where's old aggregate? What are we doing there? Ah, it's just game rules. What's here? This looks like a homeless camp from before the information age. Back then, people lived at ground level. 
wooden and paper boxes nowadays are hard to come by. On the lid of one of the boxes, someone wrote an address. I copied it to the deck. Too bad those ain't real. One of those boxes would be would look good in my apartment. I think it's called a coke stove or brazier maybe. When earth used to be colder. In many cities, vagrants use them to keep warm. A network address has been scratched on the edge of the barrel. I copied it to the deck. Those are strange signs. Muffled up people warming themselves by a fire to keep out the cold. A bit like cavemen. A throne of tires in a game of sex and violence. Either someone is very imaginative or they didn't understand the part about rubber. Could be. Developers put a lot of attention to detail. Tires have different tread and wear. On the inside of one of them I noticed a network address carved with a knife. I scanned it and imported it to the deck. Anyone who writes similar things in a uh, realistic way in a digital game must have a strange mind. Run it on old aggregates. Who or what is old aggregates? Here. There's Kenju. There's the generator. A generator. A solid working model. Uh, insert the power cord. Took the plug and jammed it with some effort into the socket. Left my floppy disk drive dirty. Floppy drive should be inside during booting if I want access to the exploits. Blow out dust from the floppy disk drive. Oh hell, I remember that. I glanced inside the disk reader slot. It was covered with dust and cobwebs. I blew a few times to remove the filth. Press start. There was a click and the switch beneath. Hold start. Press the start button. There was a click and the switch underneath. I didn't withdraw my finger. Kept it there. Nothing. Restart. Smash the case in the metal clanged. Alright, that's not going to work. You up. King of Spades. I grabbed a card from the unicorn and recollected the words on the unicorn's magic nursery rhyme. So theatrical. I was waving my arms and chanting its engines loudly as if it was a performance for my life. It's a pity that I didn't have an audience because it did so much better than the horse. Oh, this looks big. Man in a dumpster. All right. Yeah. What do you need about you? Enough. Investigation. Enough. Could use a partner. All right. Why not? That was different. Not entirely sure how we get there. Nothing. I can do nothing else with that now. I have nothing showing for me there. And that's just game rules. It's you again. Don't you have anything better to do? Can't touch that. Still got nothing I can do there. Codex Herman Tick In the name of Perun the Almighty and Burnt, if you want a divine glitch granted to you, then heed the words of fire a Perunian master, who speaks through me. He shall take a powering cable to bestow an immortal uh, immortal life 
to your console. So says Prun the Almighty and common sense. Shall plug it in lest it works not, and advise us as the Almighty Prun. I'm going to take a message on the TMP forum. Ye who crave divine glitch, heard my words. Firstly, hold the start button, hold with all your focus and might hold. Secondly, reset their console. Furtherly, ye shall yank out the disc. Then I did not do that in all the order. This should be inside before you begin. An update, I mean, heed the amendment to the ineffable glitch in destruction. A mistake was made by me. Steps one and four were reversed. First and fourth swap places. So if we had a disc, it would be uh, press start, reset, yank the disc. Hang on. Press start, reset, yank the disc, hold start. Are you stupid? My instructions are so simple. These things are bound by logic and thus obvious. Tell you take the disc out, does it, does, does it not follow? It needed to be put on beforehand, it does. And does it not follow the disc? Uh, station needs to be spotless. Doesn't, but you should know that it has to be clean like Goddess Mokosh. All right, so I don't think we even have a disc. in the southern location. The alley. We've got everything there. We have nothing. I'm a little lost as to where we go from here. We could only keep going round and see if anything revealed itself. Open window, enter data, etc. I must be going. Nothing. Absolutely nothing left down here. Nope, nothing there. Not going to get anywhere down here, it looks like. This fool doesn't have anything else to offer, does he? I'm looking for information about a recent incident in one of the local back alley streets. I heard there was quite a mo commotion. Know anything about it? Man, I'm hiding here so no one can get to me, and you're asking me about back streets? Let us know there's one guy, Trepanator, he's a scary dude. He often hangs out there. Ask him. Enough about you, and leave. Hmm? Nothing there. All is well. I'm just Investigation. AFK. I am getting nowhere.
How do we talk to the Troll King? Want to see a magic trick? All right, we'll watch the trick. And we need to come back to life. see a magic trick we try the left one same thing just always the same thing and it's deleted points as well we have not hold on hold on we have a boy on the throne A man loved on the throne attires in graceless position, as if ragdoll physics took over. Chief, Ken leaned over with a whisper loud enough to be heard on the other side of the street. Listen. That's a new book fucked up my match. Let me handle this. I have a plan. Go ahead. Ken smiles casually, picks up his glasses, straightened his shoulders and put on a thea uh, threatening in his opinion at least, look. Meet again, troll. He said it through clenched teeth and then revealed the gun holster. The king raised his hand, index finger pointing at the sky, ordering him to wait. Then he began looking to something in the recess of the junk throne. Take the initiative. Kedman, what you guys did was cruel. You ruined his career. It's not like a prank or damn card trick. Yeah, I guess that sucks ball. Sorry, mate. Sometimes it's like a vo this voice, you know? Head on, I figure. He suggests all those little shenanigans. So how can I make it up to you for my heinous behaviour? We need help in the investigation. I'm looking for a kid who got the into this game and went AWOL. Tell me anything useful and we'll call it even. Ah, I have ears and tongues everywhere. In this game, that's probably true. So my tongues will be yours if you want. I'll tell you something useful of course. And something useless to balance it out. Where's the kid? In the theatre. And here's the key that may or may not have found its way into my hand from my clan member's pocket. Take care, man. Welcome to my hamping humble domain. Yeah? Enough about that investigation. All the questions and leave. Find a way to get into the theater. Can she help? Yes. Nope. No, she cannot. Ladies, got anything? Boy, what do you want now? Organization, Realium. There's a the theater. I should have been able to open the door, but no matter how hard I tried, it wouldn't budge. Open with a key. A mechanical lock and a metal key. Been a while since I used those, the bolt clicked. Welcome to House of Pleasure, user Umbra Dominatrix 69. May your hunt be fruitful and your stay sensual. So far, everything was dark. Little kitty cat. Welcome, game deck. 
Someone finally showed up. I may have been expecting it. But the feeling of surprise is so refreshing. A game deck. So, Mr. Haggis got scared, which was only means to the other end. Uh, which was only a means to another end. Have a look at this. Yeah, that looks brutal. Fredo is completely stripped to his mask and skin. This is own real reality himself. Carnal, sweaty. Fredo's a minor. He's killing a girl inside an adult game. They can. What do you want? Everything you see here is recorded from every possible angle. And if Haggis doesn't do what I'm asking, well... The footage with the boy's full name will be published all over the net. We'll be entitled like father like son. How much are you wanting? He knows exactly what I want and it's not about money. He's got to do what I tell him. No more, no less. What do you want from me? Just tell him to listen to orders and wait for further guidelines. What if I refuse? You don't want to say no to me, not unless you like jokes and the value uh, and value the truth. If so, then feel free to refuse. I'm tempted to refuse. Very tempted indeed. But I wonder what he's got up his, sh uh, his sleeves if we do. If we log out, can we get back in and continue this? I'm guessing there should be no reason we can't. So let's go talk to the old man and see what's going on. How long do you expect me to wait? Mr. Haggis has Paul stopped the investigation. How do you do that? Fredo is inside twist and preferred it. He's been held hostage by a hacker. Fuck. Wait for me in the office. Why are you sitting there like that? Come over here. What happened there? Tristan preferred it, a game where you kill for sexual satisfaction. Uh, so I'd have found your son and the hacker who captured him. Tough guy. He was wearing a jester skin to look more diabolic. He caught the kid in a loop, a vicious circle. Better kept repeating the same actions and he was unable to break free. Haggis clenched his lips. Keep going but choose your words very carefully. Run about Fredo in the loop. The hacker took advantage of an unusual replay code. He made an exploit a loop. That's how he was able to capture your son. For hours, Fredo was experiencing the same few seconds, a few seconds sequence. He was stabbing his lover in the heart with a dagger which, uh, while making love to her. Mr. Haggis turns pale. Ma, Fredo. The man sighs happily. What's happening to Fredo? Tell him about the errors in the game. The game is full of bugs. Alright, but what does that have to do with Fredo? The admin fell into a similar loop, and that was also the hackers doing. I don't give a shit about admins. Mr. Haggis needed a while to process my story. He dies down at me the entire time. He struggles to control his emotions as he wipes his face with his hand. Fuck. You call, sir? Says Alfred. Clear my schedule for the rest of the week. Call Dr. <laughs> Put an urgent house call at home, not here. And that is all. I don't need anything else from you. I have my sources. I will find out what happened in the game. If my son gets hurt because of you, I will find and destroy you. Tell him the Jester's message. The hag wants me to give you a message. What is it? He said, do as you're told and wait for the instructions. Son of a bitch. If that's all, then get the fuck out of here. Calmly make my way to the door. Snapped out of my thoughts, the apartment was overheated, the power must have gone out. I was covered in sweat. For a fraction of a second, something smelled rotten. I didn't understand. I'd showered the evening uh, in the evening after all. I remembered the dream. A person was lying on the couch, fluids leaking through their suit. The stench was unbearable. I walked up to them and gently took off the helmet. It was me, and then I woke up. Soon I started wondering how Fredo was doing. There was no time for slacking, I needed to, uh, to restore power to my apartment. Luckily, Bliss had separated the source of power. 
Home inspections are where major domos really shine. Warsaw City, my polis. Time to face reality. The couch had no power. Control panel for the uh, apartment's AI. Find piece of software that didn't fr uh, didn't fridge or contents as its first priority. You can also talk to it. Name is Bliss. Activate this uh, analyze this system. BWI had been developing AI models for the human psyche for some time. Even the holographic visualizations looked like brains. Everything seemed fine, but it shouldn't have. If there was a surge or a, a failure in the tower, it should have left a sign, but there was nothing. The software truly looked like I was activating it for the first time. It made no sense. Activate it. A logo with two whales appeared on the screen. Thank you for purchasing a product manufactured by Blue Whales Interactive. The leader in the world of AI, BWI, never alone. You are activating Bliss for the first time. To start, configure the software to your liking. Damn, something had reset my settings. Probably another failure in the tower or a surge upstairs. Or, uh, Trepanator? He got some stuff on me. Check the logs. There was nothing in the system. Logs of previous activizations and conversations would be in the cloud, provided they existed. Probably somewhere in the Blue Whale Interactive servers. Too high bar for me. You had to have a real magician to get in there. A holographic fi uh, figure appeared in the air. I'm Bliss. How can I serve you? Hi, wait. What do you mean? Don't you remember me? Why does everything break all the time? Check the electrical grid. The system didn't find any defects in the apartment. The fault was on the power uh, provide send. In which case... Uh, which, in this case, were the tower generators. Will you contact the electric provider and report a problem? Of course. Problem reported, I've been assured that everything has now been restored to working order. By the way, you got a new contract. Breaking news. Today is July the 18th, my name is Gina Gord, and this is the news. The creation of DigiNets by Deep BWI is still a very controversial topic. The company's spokesperson strongly denies the gossip, saying that psycho scans have been performed without the consent of Psyche's owners. We have more news coming up. Frido Haggis, son of Blue Whales Interactive Director Jeffrey Haggis, died due to severe brain damage. No shit. According to an official source, it was a result of a hacker's attack that prevented the deceased from logging out of a game. The boy's broken-hearted father announced that our, uh, to our reporters that he's resigning from his position in the, on his, uh, to focus on his family. This has been Warsaw City News, your source for up-to-date domestic and international news all day long. Well, shit. Sometimes, even when your investigation makes progress, the end is not happy. This was not happy for Fredo, it was not happy for his father. And if his father had the power to take his revenge, it might not be happy for me. All of this might reveal in the future when we return to the Avaganda Detective Agency. I've been Detective Yorkie, Game Deck. And you have been a fine audience. I'll see you next time.